Look, fly! You are terminated! Enter. No, I can't be fired. No, please, no. I'm fired. Ah. How much time do we still have left in this job before we are replaced with an AI such as ChatGPT? In this video, I'll explain how I use ChatGPT daily as a sales engineer, the unfair advantage we experienced sales engineers have over AI, and why I think that not only is AI not going to replace sales engineers anytime soon, but it will actually help us be better at our job. The general and unsolvable problem with any complex ML model such as ChatGPT or any other Gen AI is that it's non-deterministic. An ML model is not an algorithm, a decision tree. There is no way to understand the reasoning behind its output. There is zero transparency as to how it came to its conclusion to the result that it presents you back. Let's say I've asked ChatGPT to produce Python code for a particular problem I'm trying to solve. In this video, I've shown how I've used ChatGPT to build a whole Streamlit app for me. Now the question is, is this the most optimal way how this problem can be solved? And what is optimal anyway? Optimal could mean the most optimal performance, the fastest execution for someone, but for someone else, it could mean most efficient utilization of memory resources. And because I don't know the reasoning behind ChatGPT's answers, I have to work a lot with it to provide clarifying questions or initial instructions called prompting to arrive at the most optimal solution for me. ChatGPT doesn't know my context. I have to provide it. And the better the result I'm expecting, the more work, the more effort I'll have to put into it. Hey guys, welcome to Better Pre-Sales with Sasha. I work as a senior sales engineer for a leading cloud company. And if you're interested at getting better at the job or you're just curious what the job is about, keep watching. Here's how I use ChatGPT. Getting good results from ChatGPT is a process that consists of providing really thorough and good instructions, prompts, and asking very specific questions. So instead of me writing that code, I'm guiding the AI to produce the output I need. This still feels a lot like programming, except I'm not directly writing the code. I'm using an AI assistant to provide a code for me based on my input. That's still a lot of work. I'm in the pilot seat and I'm steering the chat GPT toward the goal toward actually solving my challenge. The sales engineer's unfair advantage over generative AI. I've just explained how ChatGPT is useless without a person guiding it, providing it input, telling it what to do, what kind of result is expected, and actually checking the result is correct. How about sales engineering? Can ChatGPT actually do any of the stuff we do? For instance, can it create customer-specific architectures or presentations instead of us? Probably, but the amount of communication overhead and the context we'd have to provide would greatly exceed the time that it would take us to do it alone. Every customer, each opportunity, and interaction we have at this job is very specific to the context. And that's just it. To have ChatGPT replace our work would mean that each time a demo is needed, each time a presentation, customer-specific presentation has to be prepared, each time a support ticket has to be opened, someone would have to operate ChatGPT and explain, provide all of this context for this very specific situation. And also be able to check the results are correct afterwards, meaning they would have to have subject matter experience, subject matter knowledge. And that's the full-time job that only we sales engineers can do. Our unfair advantage as an SC is that this job is very specific and very creative. It's the sum of all our experiences, intuition, creativity, gut feeling, soft skills, the technical skills cannot be captured as data to be fed to an ML model that's then able to provide useful results in any possible customer situation. And that's why I think that ChatGPT will not be replacing us anytime soon. You can use it to your advantage though to get better at the job. If you need inspiration, here are six ways how you can use ChatGPT to get better at sales engineering job. Generating source code for your demos. For instance, I often use ChatGPT to generate synthetic demo data for my demos. It's very good at that. That's the generative part in the generative AI name. Learning hacking or 
hacking the learning? I'm not sure. Let's face it, we sales engineers are often expected to kind of know a little bit about almost any topic. So for us, it means we have to be constantly learning new things. And I use ChatGPT to summarize long and complex texts for me so I don't have to read them, but I still get the idea what the text is about. Generating ideas or talking points. ChatGPT gets more creative the more context you give it, and I use it to do kind of a sanity checking. For instance, if I have to generate some talking points for a presentation, I would first write them on my own, and then I'd ask ChatGPT to generate talking points on the same topic just to make sure that I didn't miss something that's really basic and obvious because it's really good at that. Correcting grammar and writing style. I hope this one is obvious. Information retrieval slash search. Now, this one is almost at the bottom of my list because I'm kind of in two places about this. ChatGPT has been trained with data until I think October or November 21. And do you know how many software version packages, libraries, APIs, concepts, ideas, architectures have been created since then? You don't. Well, neither does ChatGPT. And that's kind of an issue if you're relying on it for getting the latest and up-to-date information. However, it can be very useful if we want to learn the general concepts like uh, laws of physics, biology, chemistry, or about any industry that you're working in. Transcription of calls, so you kind of know what you talked about with your customers. Be very careful about this one. Make sure you get all the approvals by you know, people you talk to, that they are okay with you recording and transcribing it. I often use Whisper, which is another AI model. It's not ChatGPT. In fact, the subtitles for this video were generated by Whisper, and it's much better than that, that YouTube's inbuilt auto-generated titles algorithm. And that's it. In this video, I've explained how I use ChatGPT, why I don't think it will be replacing us anytime soon, and how you can use it at your daily sales engineering job to get better at it. Let me know in the comments how you use ChatGPT. I'm super curious to learn. And if you like this video, hit that big like button and subscribe to my channel, Better Pre-Sales with Sasha, for more great content like this. Stay healthy and stay tuned.